The San Gabriel Fire in Williamson County has grown to 500 acres tonight. Right now, the Liberty Hill Fire Department and other agencies have it about 25% contained. People who evacuated are now being told they can return home tonight. CBS Austin's Ricardo Lewis has been monitoring this fire. It's insane. I've never seen a fire this big this close to us. Neighbors in the Santa Rita Ranch North neighborhood watched on this cliff as airplanes picked up water from Lake Georgetown and doused water on the flames of the San Gabriel fire. David Smith and his family received an evacuation notification to get out of the area. When we first started, it was a bit of white smoke, then it started turning black. It was a small isolated area kept an eye on it and what ended up happening is we saw it expand more and more. The wildfire in Liberty Hill sparked up on Tower Road and is now 500 acres. It's only 25% contained. The smoke could be seen for miles. It was darker a few hours ago, but I guess they've been working on it for a while. Everyone within a two mile radius was evacuated. That's about 200 homes. Families were provided shelter at Santa Rita Middle School. It's close enough. It's about two miles away at this point. So we are a bit concerned. We're uh, concerned for our, you know, our dogs and our families. So we're keeping a close eye on it. This is the map of the area that was evacuated in Liberty Hill. The San Gabriel fire has spread into the Georgetown Fire Department's jurisdiction and is being worked on by several agencies. At this time, we've got it stopped before 3405, and it's between Ronald Reagan here and County Road 261. Williamson County Judge Bill Gravel says this is the second major fire in the county this week. We have a burn band here in Williamson County like most uh, counties do here in Central Texas. And I just want to remind our residents, we need to be smart. Judge Gravel is looking for enhancing the burn ban for Williamson County and adding additional restrictions. Texas A&M Forest Service says it has responded to 205 wildfires in the last seven days and urges everyone to avoid outdoor burning. Crews will be working throughout the night to get this fire contained. Now you can continue to follow the latest on this growing fire online at cbsaustin.com as well as our social media, Facebook and Twitter. The San Gabriel Fire in Williamson County is still burning at this hour. The fire remains at 500 acres, but there is progress. It is now 75% contained. There is still no word on how the fire got started. Williamson County Judge Bill Gravel issued a statement earlier today thanking fire crews for their efforts. Gravel says firefighters will continue to work overnight and into tomorrow to keep containing the fire. CBS Austin's Ricardo Lewis is live in Williamson County tonight. Ricardo, that smoke has died down, but there's still some concerns about what could be lingering in the air. Well, crews have been dumping water and retarded on this fire since earlier this morning. The smoke has improved out here. I haven't really seen a lot out here today, but experts say there could still be some problems with air quality and possibly your health. Plumes of smoke could be seen for miles on Saturday from the San Gabriel fire that started in Liberty Hill. It has since let up, but what doesn't always meet the eye can still be dangerous to your health. We know that about 17,000 Texans die prematurely every year from air pollution, and a lot of that is from industry, from traffic, but some of it is definitely also coming from wildfire smoke. Luke Metzger is the Environment Texas Executive Director. As more wildfires are sparking up across the state due to dry conditions, the air quality can become a concern. We also know that the small particles that uh, are part of wildfire smoke can enter deep into your lungs and cause serious problems. And the air quality in Williamson County on Sunday is good, but on Saturday it ranked as moderate as the wildfire smoke drifted through the air. Clean air and water advocate Michael Lewis says people with respiratory illnesses are put at more serious risk. We see increased risks of heart attack, stroke, that sort of thing with that continued inhalation. Environment experts say wildfires are some of the worst impacts of global warming as they've been heating up across the state and country. The issue with the super hot fires that are happening over and over and over again, the ecosystems don't have a chance to refresh. They don't have a chance to start growing again and repair themselves. Lewis says this could be causing permanent damage and changes need to be made to reduce the impacts. We need to cut carbon emissions by you know, transitioning away from fossil fuels towards clean energy. And so that's going to be a key solution towards mitigating some of the impacts of wildfires.
Now experts say if you live anywhere near this fire that is still burning, go ahead and keep your doors and windows shut. Reporting live in Williamson County, Ricardo Lewis, CBS Austin News.